I'm going to take a walk down the garden now to the exit at the bottom here. Just down here at the bottom, there's a little lane that comes up and access, and you see the bluebells are already coming out. And if we go down this way, there's some lovely views. This morning I wanted to paint the dandelion clocks, the dandelion seed heads, but after that strong wind yesterday when I was painting in the garden, they were down to paint away. this morning and there were no dandelion heads there at all. So I changed to come down to this little spot I found yesterday with Rosie. And look, here's a wild orchid already. Wonderful thing to see. And the cowslips are all out, of course. And as I say, the bluebells are just coming out, so it won't be long before I can go down to the river and do these this bluebells. This field still has some dandelion clocks in it, and I'm going to try and paint it from the bottom corner, looking up and through it. And if you like painting little still lice, well, what about this? Just to settle down here, maybe, and take in that for a, a wee detailed painting. We're going to go on down the lane here. Just round that corner. So places to paint literally on my back doorstep. But I thought this view through here was rather nice. Um, if I get the tree in and the branches into the right, then perhaps some of the stonework at the bottom, reaching right through to this lovely field of light dandelion clocks here. So I'm going to get my easel and set up here this morning. Just looking through here, that house in the background somewhere. Yeah, I think about it. Should do it. Well, I'm set up now and ready to go on this view. I need to just sketch out a composition first. I just like to have the basics. Oh, I'm going to take a nice basic composition here. I'll use my fingers again to get what I want. And leaves coming through. And there's our composition. So quite a nice little composition held in by these objects here. And I suppose I want to sort of make a sort of focal area here those flowers. Right, let's get straight on with it. No time to waste as usual. I'll take a, a larger brush. I'll take a medium-sized filbert, I guess, today. And let's get that sky in. I want a nice golden sky today. So um, I've got some yellows in there, so I've got to go... Hmm, I say golden. I need the yellows of the dandelions in here, so I can't go that sort of yellow. Uh, what am I going to do then to play against those? Perhaps I need a more purpley sky in that case. Uh, let's take some white and a little bit of a... Let's make this sort of colour for the sky at the moment and then I can still see through that. The lights, the sun's just breaking. I've only got two and a half hours to paint today, so I haven't got very long. I've got to shift it. And that is a stronger colour of that yellow pink. So I've now got to adjust one thing against another there to make this seem much more yellow and a deeper cream. I'm going to put some yellow ochre into it and uh, push that colour a bit more against the colours behind it. So we're going to really find these colours and uh, not just plonk in a bit of green or a bit of blue here and there. You want to really try and find these colours one against another. And mixing all sorts of lovely warms and cools here, strong colours and pushing these lovely beautiful colours here to get the effects I want. Let's get these darks in, dark greens and lovely colours that are happening in the Let's get this, these muddy greens in before I start putting purer colours down, trying to lift out the light against the darks. So at the moment I just want to get rid of all of this nasty white canvas for a while. And at the moment I just want to build this up. These paints are a bit thin. Darken that green a bit back here, warm it up a bit because I'm going to put those dandelion seed heads along there and they need to show against the darker colour. Always a new painting so I don't know where they're going to go. I don't try and work it all out ahead of time. I've got a good idea what I want to do and 
about it really. So bigger brushes at the moment as I slab in these colours, but I'm going to go back to smaller ones fairly soon. Keep looking for these lovely colours that glowing right down into here. Oh, I'm going to have to go to a smaller brush shortly, I think. Start to work out some of these lovely shapes. This is what this whole painting was going to be about. It's what the one I was going to do this morning was going to be about, except that the wind had blown them all away. Let's just build these up lightly through here. Right on through the background. Alright, just about time to move down to a smaller brush. Let's turn down to a smaller brush. these leaves for texturing at the moment come back in no other way it seems than just to flick all of these in at the moment to try and get the effect of even layers of cascading of explosion of leaves going on behind here that. Not sure how it's going really. Well, I'll keep trying. So now I've got rid of the, the dross, now I've got rid of the background, I can start to find colour. Are we getting there at all? Oh, it's hard to know. It's not easy to do. Put those cools against these warms in a minute because this is just getting too many warms that it's not actually doing any good. It's half an hour that can matter so much because I can either make it or break it, I can pull it together, really make these colours sing or I can lose them. And I want to pull it together obviously. Just pulling it together a bit now maybe. Oh, I don't I do any more on it, we'll see but I have to go now so the guests coming as I say I can't uh, longer. Unfortunately I'd like a bit more time on this one. It's just not going to happen for we look at it and what we painted. Well, my guests have just departed and uh, it's now oh, nearly five o'clock and I was hoping the light would be much stronger across this background here, but it's not. The vibration of colour at the moment is just too average, too mediocre have that brightness that I really want yet.
Hmm, certainly. Certainly a challenge. Beautiful pinks and colours that are coming through in the evening light. So do I make it darker in between the flowers or lighter on the flowers? Well... Not one of my most successful. It's funny how you can spend ages on something that doesn't work and you can do something in minutes that does. And that's what I said about pricing paintings recently. So, oh, you can do that in 10 minutes. Yeah, but it's taken me all these years to get to this stage. And even though I don't always succeed, as you can well see. Like I say, not one of my most successful, but it's been a learning curve. Not quite sure what I've learned from it. Here we go then. Brushes for the day, and now I think satisfied the lust of paint a little bit until the sun comes out again. Right, there we are. Let's take a look at the actual thing now. Here, yeah. people say, "Oh, you can just do them all the time, any old time." But no, uh, very often uh, it takes a lot of learning and a lot of struggle and a lot of a uh, uh, big battle to finish a painting off. Sometimes it just goes minutes, other times it takes a while. Sometimes you just don't succeed and paint over them later. <laughs> <laughs>